In this video, I will show you how to use the Cypress type command to enter text into a text box. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I will show you a nice little trick that you may not be aware of. Thanks for watching Arame Now. This is Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. And before we begin, please do me a huge favor and hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It helps me to get this content out to more people. Thank you. Let's walk through the scenario that we're going to be automating. We're going to be using the sandbox page at automate now. On this page, we have this button that says form fields. I'm going to click this button and then we're going to be navigated to this form fields page. We're going to use this input box to enter some text. Let me go ahead and inspect this. And in this case, I'm simply going to use this ID right here. So I'm going to copy this. Now let's go to the code. I'm going to begin by creating a variable that is going to store my text. Next, we're going to visit the sandbox page. Notice that here I'm simply using a forward slash. That is because I've set up my test suite to automatically visit the sandbox page. If you would like to learn how to do this, please check out the video card on the screen. Now we're ready to click on that button that says form fields. So I'm going to say cy.contains and form fields. And then we're going to click on it. Before I proceed, let me show you something here. And this is what Cypress is going to do. When we say click on this form fields, it's going to scroll this element to the top of the page. It's going to look like this but we see that this navigation bar gets in the way. So when Cypress tries to click on this element, it's going to be interrupted by this banner right here. So I'm going to show you how to prevent that from happening by telling Cypress to force the click on the element, even if it's being covered by some other element. And here we're going to use braces and say force true. Then we're going to enter the text in the text box. So here we're going to say cy.get and we need to get the element that contains a given ID. So for ID, we use a hashtag and then the ID name. Next comes the type command. We use the type command to enter text. And I'm going to use tilde and my variable name right here. And I'm going to use force equals true again. Because of the issue that I explained earlier with the navigation bar. Please keep in mind that you may not be required to do this. This only applies because we have that issue here on this page. Lastly, I'm going to make an assertion to make sure that the text is inside of the text box. So I'm going to copy this right here and we use this code. And in this case, instead of type, I'm going to say that should and we're going to say have that value. And then the value that we need is the variable. And that's all we need here. I'm going to save my changes and run my test. Now I have the test runner open and this is my spec file right here. Text actions. I'm going to click on this to run the test. And notice that we get a green check mark, meaning that the test passed. And indeed we can see the text in the text box. Here's the bonus part for this video. We can use the type command to send strings, but we can also use it to enter other things such as shortcuts or to press single keyboard keys such as enter. Let me show you that now. So on this form right here, I can enter this text, select different things on here or not, and then scroll to the bottom of the page and then click the submit button. When we click submit, the form will be submitted, but there's an alternative to clicking submit. I can simply enter some text and then press enter. And notice that when I press enter, the form gets submitted and we see this text, message sent. Now let me show you how to do that in Cypress. In this case, I'm going to comment this out right here. We won't be making an assertion because we're navigating to another page. I'm going to use this line right here. And the only change that I need to make is inside of this tilde right here. I'm going to use braces and say enter. This is known as a character sequence in Cypress because we can use it to send sequence of characters. In this case, I only want the enter key. So I'm telling Cypress to enter my text and then press enter. Let me save my changes and rerun this test. And 
notice that this test also passes. It submitted the form and we see this message sent text on the screen. In case you wonder what other character sequences you can use in Cypress, here is a list. I will be providing the link for this in the video description. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. In case you're new to Cypress, please check out the video card on the screen so you can learn how to get started. I'll see you guys in the next video.